There's no need for him to have a pacifier. He has a blankie and it's an emotional crutch really for him. Oh. It's gonna be heartbreaking for me, I have to tell you. When she said that we're gonna have to you know, break the habit of the pacifier, I had no idea what she was gonna do. Bo, this envelope came from somebody very special and her name is Penelope the Passy Fairy. Okay, and when she sees that there are boys in the house that are very big boys and they have passies, what she does is that she asks them, okay, Wait, to put their passies into the very special envelope and to post it so that she could give them to babies that would need them. No. And he kind of looked at me and I thought, to myself, is he going to do this or not? I didn't know if he was really going to pick up those passes. Look at you, Penelope's going to be so pleased. Seal that down nice and tightly. I was really excited that he was just really engulfed in this whole story. You going to put it in the mailbox? When he took those pacifiers to the mailbox, I just felt very proud of him. He's growing up when he does that. Yes! It, it felt like we were in in a storybook. And it's in the morning, you're gonna to go to the mailbox and you're going to get at your very special own envelope. You know, it just goes to show you when you're really confident and you can bring a touch of magic into the situation, that they actually take that in their own stride and know that everything must be okay then. Make sure crack in, ready? One, two, three, go! Go, 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 So plan of action, we've got all these kids, and what we want to do is set up something for the kids to be able to do, perhaps in the backyard or in here. <laughs> Leo is four, Bo is three. And Will and Jesse are twins, and they are six weeks old. <laughs>